here for you for those of you don't know me welcome happy friday like i said we are going to be um teaching you how to make this really cute little tray um i know in january it's usually all about organization and cleaning up from the holidays and you know getting ready for the year ahead of you so i'm going to show you this really cute um project that you can make with mason jars a tray mod podge and folk art treasure gold so i'm going to walk you through this We've got Emily in the Hi, other studio. So she's gonna be answering any questions for you that you have. So if you have questions, thank you. Questions in the chat or comments, let her know and she'll relay those over to me. So for this project, we're gonna be using a wood tray. So again, all these products are available at Michaels and on michaels.com. We are gonna be using this wood tray. We have got some mason jars. I've already started to tape mine off. That's why there's blue tape on them. We've got some knobs. So either you can purchase these knobs or you can always um, use upcycled. And these are just like knobs as in drawer pulls. So I have one for each mason jar. I have got napkins. So again, Michael's just got a great variety of napkins. So whatever you do, you just want to make sure it's matching your decor. So whether this is a great project, again, for the kitchen or the bathroom or your office, um, just pick napkins that match your decor. So I've got, these are just cocktail napkins. So whether they're um, rectangular or they're square, they work great. Um, you can also use scrapbook paper, but to really um, mod podge around the um, drawer pulls or the knobs, the napkins are really great and like pliable and they like mold around the form really easily. I have also for our product, we're going to be using Mod Podge dishwasher safe. So you can use um, a number of Mod Podge um, formulas to create this project, but I love dishwasher safe if we're doing something um, for the kitchen or the bathroom where water can get to it because um, because this is um, actually indoor, outdoor, and dish um, top rack dishwasher safe. So the water is not going to ruin your project. So this is a great sealer. It's a glue sealer finish and all in one. And if you're not familiar with Mod Podge, so it is a great one to have on hand. Again, I love it so much, um, especially if I'm crafting for like the bathroom or the kitchen. Um, and then we've got our Folk Art Treasure Gold, which is the most, look at that shine, the most metallic, um, acrylic non-toxic paint out there in the market. So this is Folk Art Treasure Gold. We're gonna be using um, gold ore. Um, it is just a beautiful, shiny, non-toxic, because I know when you get into metallics, a lot of times paint can be smelly and toxic, but this is non-toxic. Um, it's beautiful. So when you see this, um, you're gonna see when you use it, that shine that you get. Um, I also have a hot glue gun some low tack tape, so painter's tape or stencil, ta stencil tape, some scissors. I've got some paint brushes here that I'm gonna be using for the treasure gold and I've got my water. So um, again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. So I, oh, and I also have a hair dryer um, to kind of speed up our processes we craft. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint my tray and my jars and we're gonna Mod Podge last. So. I'm going to start with a tray here. So again, this is just a wood tray. Now, again, Folk Art has such great coverage. This gold paint is amazing coverage. You can see, look at that. It's really beautiful and thick. And I'm going to pour it out here on my palette. So I hope you guys can see that. It's really thick. That's how long it's taking to get out of the jar. So you can see that. Look at that gold. I mean, it is truly the most metallic paint out there. It is so amazing. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint my tray. So I'm gonna paint um, the sides of my tray. So the inside sides and the top trim of my tray. Now, I like the look of the raw wood that's gonna show. You could absolutely paint all four sides of your tray. Don't worry about the base because we're gonna Mod Podge onto that. So you don't need to prep your surface. You just wanna make sure that it's, um, this is unfinished raw wood. You just wanna make sure it's smooth, clean and dry. So um, I'm gonna, I am gonna actually paint the edges here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this tray. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy and look at that. Let me see that it's shine. So that, like one coat. One coat. Again, so easy. And it comes in a variety of colors. So we've got our traditional golds and silvers and rose golds, but we also have some beautiful, beautiful jewel tones. Um, and Michaels has all those. So a lot of variety and you, if you don't like the gold, you wanna do silver, again, have it match your decor. That's what's so great about DIY and crafting. 
um, is that you know, you're really personalizing this to match your decor and it's gonna be exactly what you want um, in your home. And especially if you're using it and looking at it every day, um, it's a great way to, you know, just be happy about what you have. Okay, so I am just painting this and it's okay because we are gonna Mod Podge this face. So typically if you want a really straight edge, you could use your painter's tape and tape that off. But because we're gonna cover the base of this tray with the Mod Podge and the napkins, I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that, no problem. Okay, so paint, paint, paint. And again, if anybody has any questions, we're using Folk Art Treasure Gold. There are any questions yet, but just to reiterate the fact that this is completely customizable, you can paint over it. You can use a variety of different napkins. So maybe you like to switch up your bathroom decor regularly Absolutely. with the seasons. You can keep the same, you know, surface and repurpose it uh, to go along it. And you know, it's easy. Absolutely. That's a great point. Yeah, seasonal. This would be really cute. You could do Christmas jars or spring jars or Valentine's Day jars. So that's a really great um, idea to do it seasonal, a uh, seasonal craft or a seasonal version of this and change it out. Okay, so I'm gonna let my tray dry. Then I'm gonna take my mason jar. So anytime we are crafting with glass or ceramics, you wanna make sure that your surface has been cleaned um, thoroughly. So you just wanna make sure you, even if they're brand new jars, now you can upcycle jars, but Michael's has great mason jars. You wanna make sure that you wash them with warm soap and water, you rinse them and dry them. And then you wanna just take some everyday rubbing alcohol and um, like a lint-free cloth or lint-free paper towel and wipe them down. And that's gonna prep your glass. So again, even if these are brand new, you wanna take that alcohol and you wanna wipe your glass surface. If they're brand new, you don't really need to wash with soap and water. That's if you're like upcycling them. But if these are brand new, just take your rubbing alcohol and wipe them down, let them air dry real quick, and then you're good to go. So remember, you wanna to remember to do that anytime you're crafting with glass um, or your ceramics. Okay, so I've got my three mason jars because those fit in the tray. And you can see I've already gone ahead and taped these off. So you just wanna, you can measure eyeball. I did one kind of exactly where I wanted it positioned. And then I just lined them up, took my tape, and this is just a low tack painters or stencil tape that you can use. And you just wrap it around your jar. You just wanna make sure it's nice and even. You make it look so easy. <laughs> I just did two other ones before it started. So yeah, you just wanna take these off. So above the line, above the blue is gonna be clear and below is gonna be gold. So we're gonna leave it clear so you can actually see what's in it. So you can see like these are little napkins, these are Q-tips. So this way you can see what's in your jar. So then I'm gonna take my lids off while you guys tape because we're gonna actually paint the lids also. And again, this treasure gold, it is great for multiple surfaces. Um, it's just a great, amazing paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get started to paint. I'm gonna dip right in my bottle there. And you can see, again, look at that coverage. So we went from wood to glass. Now you're gonna need two coats of this gold on the glass. So just let them dry in between coats. Um, and what's great is that you're doing three of them. So while the first one is dry, yes, you can move absolutely. on to the next one and kind of make it like a little train. Yep, absolutely. And you can, you know, I have a hair dryer here. We are always using a hair dryer. Um, so you can just speed up the process. It's not like you need to let this sit for hours or wait overnight. So again, how, look at that. That's one coat. That's pretty good. So I would go back and do one more coat on these and you can see the coverage that we got. So this is two coats. So you can look at that shine. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one. Another thing that I'd like to mention, Kira, is that you're able to dip your brush directly into the bottle. I am. I don't know if that's a good habit or bad habit. People would probably frown upon that. Um, but I love the fact that I can do that. I don't even need to mess with a palette and my jars are clean. Um, my brush was clean when I started. So I go right into my bottle, but you can absolutely use a palette. 
it's funny, like the habits you get in and you're like, oh, probably shouldn't do that, but it's totally fine. So look at that coverage, that's one coat. So then one more coat is gonna be beautiful on there. So you just go ahead and paint all three of your jars. Paint, paint, paint. I'm just gonna do one coat for us here and then let them dry and we'll go back and do another coat. So again, this is great for office, for bathroom, for kitchen. Again, I love the Mod Podge dishwasher safe because it is a glue sealer all in one. It's indoor, outdoor. You can put it in your top rack of your dishwasher after it cures. So that is amazing. And I love using that product when I'm crafting for my kitchen or my bathroom. Okay, so I would do two coats on that. And then I'm just gonna paint my lids. And again, super easy. So now we went uh, wood, glass, and now we're painting on metal with this. So again, so many great options. And again, the cover, we went from silver to gold. You could make this a different color, a coordinating color. You could pick a color in the napkin and make it match again. So I would just paint my jar lids and let those dry. Again, I would do two coats on this depending of your coverage or the brightness you want. So just one quick coat, let that dry and hit it again. And you're gonna have these beautiful gold lids. Okay, and then what you wanna do, so here is a tip. So if you let this dry, right? So we painted this, we're gonna dry in between coats. We'd hit it with a hairdryer. You don't, you don't ever wanna remove your tape once it's dried because it, there's a chance that it could lift your paint. So you see how we painted right over that, um, the tape and the glass jar. So you wanna take an X-Acto knife and you wanna score your tape. So that's a really great little tip. I don't have an X-Acto knife, but this is a pair of scissors and you just wanna score along the line and that's gonna release and make sure that your tape doesn't stick. So once you have one coat, two coat, um, let it dry and score your tape and remove it. And you're gonna get a truly clean line. And again, the X-Acto knife isn't gonna mess up because um, it's on glass. So you just lightly score it and pull it up and it's gonna keep your paint from peeling off. So that's a great tip. I saw somebody was like, that's a great tip. So good, yeah. I taught you guys something Somebody today. said genius <laughs> tip. Thanks, I always Yay. love, uh-huh. They always have that tip. problem and they love this. Yep, okay, great. All right, I'm just gonna grab a baby wipe. Um, okay, so let's talk about Mod Podge and we're gonna be talking about dishwasher safe. I'm gonna move these jars. Okay, so we love Mod Podging with napkins. We love Mod Podge. Again, it's great for traditional decoupaging, scrapbooking, paper crafting, home decor. We've got so many great formulas. Michael's has the largest selection in store. Um, dishwasher is one of our go-tos. Again, so this is a glue sealer finish all in one if you're not familiar. And again, once this cures, you pop it right in top rack of your dishwasher. Um, indoor, outdoor, this formula because of the moisture. So it's a really great one to craft with when you're doing things like this that are really functional. Mod Podge is always going to be, well, not always, but I would say always all of our formulas are creamy and white when they come out of the bottle but they're gonna dry clear. So don't worry about that. When you put it on, it's gonna look milky, but it's gonna dry clear. We also have different finishes. So um, dishwasher, I wanna say is glossy. So this is gonna dry to a gloss finish. There's also satin, matte, and specialty. So you just wanna take that into consideration when you're crafting what kind of fish, um, finish that you would like. Okay, so Mod Podge. And then I've got my napkins. So again, we love crafting with napkins. Again, paper is great. Napkins are even better and easier sometimes. So I've just got this pretty floral and I love somebody had the great idea of using um, seasonal and doing this for their seasons to change it out in their bathroom or their guest bathroom. So that's a great idea. Okay, so when you are crafting with Mod Podge nap or with napkins, decoupaging, you wanna separate the plies of the napkins. Does that make sense? So napkins are either two or three ply. And I wanna show you another tip if I haven't told you guys this before. So you wanna separate that because all you want is that thin layer of the pattern. So take either double stick tape or a tape roller, like tape donut, whatever you call them, and use it to peel the back of the napkin apart. So it grabs the back and it helps you pull that off. Does that make sense? So you're using this to kind of get a really good grip on that um, 
the piece that you need to throw away from your napkin. So napkins are two or three ply, typically they're three ply. So some of them are kind of stubborn, but using that tape, look, so that it just helps you pull that apart. So you're not struggling with your fingers or if you don't have fingernails like me. Okay, and they're pretty durable. I'm pulling pretty hard. So you're gonna throw this away. So that was one, two of these. And we're gonna take this. So this is what you're left with. You're left with just this beautiful pattern. And it's like really soft and easy to work with. That's why we love it. Okay, so here's my tray. Like I said, um, this is pretty dry now. I got some treasure gold on there, but don't worry because we're gonna cover that up. And I'm gonna use my dishwasher safe just like I would use um, any formula Mod Podge. I'm gonna grab my, I've got some Mod Podge brushes. Here. Actually, I should use those, they're so fancy. All right, I've got somebody, my Mod Podge brush. Kira, yep. somebody was asking, can you use tissue paper instead Absolutely. of napkins? Absolutely. Yep. You can totally use that. Um, tissue paper is great also. Um, so what you want to do is you can kind of eyeball. I'm going to leave a little allowance. Like I'm going to leave some border. I'm not going to cut this to fit exactly because I'll show you how easy it is to kind of get it to fit. So I'm just going to trim this. Okay. I am gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm gonna put a good even coat on the base of this tray. So again, see it's white. You just want a good even coat. So some people are asking if you need to use a specialty paintbrush with Mod Podge. Could you go into a little bit more detail about the brush that you're using? Yeah, absolutely. No, you can use a regular paintbrush. I just grabbed these Mod Podge brushes that were sitting here just to have fun with them. Um, you could absolutely use a regular brush and Mod Podge um, is going to wash out if it's still wet with soap and water. Just warm, you wanna wash your brush really well so it's not gonna ruin your brush. So you can use a sponge brush. Um, you can use a regular paintbrush that you have. Absolutely, that's a great question. Okay, so I've got a good even coat on here. Now I'm gonna take my napkin. Okay, and then I'm gonna start just pressing it down and working it in. So again, just use your finger and lightly, right? So once the napkin starts to get wet, it's more likely that you would tear it than when it's dry, but you just wanna slowly, don't try to rush this. Just use your finger, lightly, lightly rub and work the wrinkles out. Again, don't worry if it's not perfect. You're like, oh, I have a wrinkle. It's okay. We're going to put another coat of Mod Podge on there. And it's actually going to kind of hide some of the imperfections because you're never going to get this exactly perfect like you would if you were like wallpapering or putting contact paper down. You just want to use your finger and work it slowly back and forth, rubbing out any bubbles. Bubbles you do want to get out. And again, like here's a bubble. I don't know if you guys can see, like here's a bubble. Just kind of tap it a little bit and rub it very lightly, a very, very soft touch. So I'm just gonna work this into all four corners, right? Almost giving it a crease, but not too hard. I just wanna know how quickly you did that, how it yeah. adhered to the base. Yep, so quick. And then what you can do is you can take scissors or an X-Acto knife. I, again, I, we should have put an X-Acto knife on here just trim this out. Now, you can also let this dry with your um, excess on it and then go back and trim it if it's easier. Like I said, once the napkins get wet, I mean, they are thin paper, they tend to rip. So if you're having a problem with this, just let this dry, go back and trim it. And it's just take your X-Acto knife and get it right in that crease and pull it down. And it's going to um, completely get rid of that excess, that excess on your tray. So again, if you're like, I don't wanna mess with it, it's wet, just let it dry, like give it an hour and you can totally go back and trim that out. And you're gonna have a perfectly straight edge. So see, and again, don't worry about the lines and bubbles, just kind of work them out because then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna let that dry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Mod Podge and then I'm gonna put another coat. So this is what's going to seal it. So we used it as a glue, as an adhesive, we are going to put a top coat on this and that is going to protect it from water damage. So, so just again- to putting, I'm sorry, Kira. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, go ahead. Putting, 
this um, additional layer of Mod Podge. Someone was asking if you could use a squeegee to smooth it out like a cricket scraper. Would that be too abrasive on the napkin? Yes, I would not do that. I promise you your fingers will work or take a brush. Take a dry brush, a soft dry brush and kind of work on top of it and work your wrinkles out if you don't want to use your finger. Don't use a squeegee or a palette mm -hmm. knife or anything harsh. But look, you guys can see there were definitely wrinkles on this. But and that Mod Podge, Podge it almost it smooths it out. So it yeah. is really, you would never be able to tell this wasn't painted on there. It looks like it is part of the tray now. So how easy is that? Again, you would trim that down. So that's your tray. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these knobs and we're gonna do the same process. So I've saved some of my napkin here. You can do coordinating or you can paint your um, knobs also. Either way, it's up to you. But we are going to go ahead and mod podge them. So you could do either one. Again, too, like think about it. If you're doing your bathroom or you have extra from your bathroom, grab those so they match. Like it would be cute if, you know, they match their drawer pulls Everything and then you also pieces. had it. Yeah, and you could do this and actually put them on your drawers. So if you want to Mod Podge your um, drawer pulls and then do them on your vanity, that would be really cute mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Okay, especially for like a kid's bathroom or like I said, guest bathroom would be really cute. Or, you know, buy some of these really inexpensive ones and maybe you don't like the color or the style, but you can DIY them and make them your own. Okay, so I'm just going to take my napkin and I'm going to do the same technique. Again, just use your finger, be patient, work it through. And then trim this out. It's like you're wrapping a little package. And then I'm going to do the sides. And I'm just going to fold it and wrap it. So this part is may not be perfect, but again, once you Mod Podge, it's just going to look wrapped and finished. So don't worry. If you've got some ends, you can always go back and trim them. And on this, you also want to put an extra coat. So again, this is going to help smooth it out hide any imperfections and it's going to seal, especially if you are going to use these as drawer pulls on your furniture, you definitely want to cover that. So that's what you do. And then all you do is take your jar once, if you want to paint it or you're not painting it, and then you just take um, your hot glue gun. Down there, and then you just stick your knob on there. And then you have a lid. So this is exactly what we did. These are just different shapes that we had. So these were like old crystal ones. But again, super easy, a great way to personalize your bathroom, whether it's for everyday decor, a guest bathroom. You know, this is so nice when you, you know, go to someone's house and this is all right there. You could also Mod Podge a tray like this and paint it and then keep like your guest um, paper towels. Like if you have the fancy, like mod these are big, but monogram paper towels, this would be a great little tray to keep on your counter. Um, again, for your soap and all your things in your kitchen, you could even put um, inside. So this paint is not food safe, but if you're only painting the outside of the jar, you could actually use this in your kitchen. If you have like a cute coffee bar or like a little like coffee nooks set up, you could do coffee beans or sugar or I love you know, the idea flavors of or stirs. Yeah. So you could do teas in here. And again, this is great. They're going to, you know, they're mason jars, what you're using anyway to store things in. It's a great way to decorate. It's also a great gift to give if someone's moving into a new home or you want to give them like a set of tea or a set of coffees. This is, or candy or cookies. This is also a really great gift to give, especially like with Valentine's Day coming up. It would be a cute gift to do for Valentine's Day. Well, Kira, you have, made it look so simple. I hope so. This was a fun one, actually. This was a good way to end my Friday. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you guys, Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe, Folk Art Treasure Gold. Um, we did all of that with, or we used this to do all of that. This is a great project to make. Again, this is great. If you've got a long weekend coming up. Take some me time if you weren't able to craft along. Um, Michael's has so many great surfaces. Like I said, they've got a ton of different jars. They've got lots of tray options. Um, a lot of times we even take some of their signs and we flip them over and use them as trays. So that's a great option if you can't find the size that you need. Um, so lots of great things that you can do. 
So um, yeah, so thank you guys. If you don't have any more questions, definitely no, no um, questions. hashtag make it with Michaels and plaid crafts after you're done crafting. So we love, love, love to see what you made. And check us out on Facebook, Plaid Crafts, and follow Michaels, of course, and sign up for more of our classes. So you guys have a really great, safe weekend. Bye, guys. Bye.